Trepler here with the St. Charles Oktoberfest. We just finished up the um, Kenrick's Meats uh, Broad Eating Contest, and I'm here with the winners. We had a ladies' division and we had a men's division. So uh, what is your name and how long have you been training for this competition? I am Nicole Kerwin, and uh, about 10 seconds before I started, I mentally prepared myself. <laughs> she mentally prepared herself. That's important, mental preparation. How are you feeling now, and how much did you eat? I ate four hot dogs and one bite. That's how I won. I took that extra bite. I'm sweating. I think I'm going to vomit. <laughs> yeah, please don't, because if you do, I'll do. I will, too. Now, these were brats from Kenrick's Meats, right? So, like, how did it feel? Like, were you motivated? Or how long before you decided that it really, like, things were not going well? Well, I, it was very hard the first first one, and then I started to dip in the water, and then it went down. But that was absolutely disgusting. I felt like a duck. It was so soggy. It was just, I, I don't think I'll ever eat a bratwurst again. I just. Well, you know Kenrick's has more than just brat. Oh, great. I don't, I am just, I need to go home. I need a nap. Okay, all right. Well, I'll let you get going so I can get these guys. Go home, get some rest. Maybe go for a little walk and, and uh, oh, yeah. Thank you. You don't have to soak your bread when you're eating the meat from Kendrick, so you know. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Good day. Okay, well, I think she's pretty much done. Okay, so introduce yourself and tell me how long you've been preparing for the Kenrick Meats Broad Eating Contest. Uh, my name is Brandon Clark. They call me The Garbage Disposal. Um, that's on YouTube and Roku. Um, I'm from Cahokia, Illinois. I don't brag about it. Uh, and uh, just a couple days. I try to lay off the steaks and, and heavy meats and, um, and then just eat like non-solid food, yogurt, pickles and stuff. So a lot of fluids, a lot of fluids. So how long have you been prepared? Now, do you do this often? Yeah, I try to do it every weekend during the summer. I do all all over. Yeah. There's the different eating competitions. Now, of all the eating competitions, is this your favorite to have the Kenrick's brat? It's the favorite in this area. And I, actually, the only other brats that I did, uh, it didn't taste as good as these. So I, 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 I kept a few of them. So I'm going to eat those in a little while. He's taking more home so he can eat those in a little while. That's awesome. Now, how many did you eat to win this competition today? I, I ate 11. 11 brats? 11. Yes, ma'am. That's incredible. Now, you, um, from what I can remember is you were the champion for the broad eating contest last year. How many did you eat last year? I think they counted nine last year. So Nine? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. So you really are a garbage disposal. I've been called worse. Well, I wouldn't call you anything but awesome. That's amazing. I'm really proud of you. That's great. Thank you for being here. Now, is there anything else that you do throughout the festival while you're here? No, I stopped drinking 13 years ago on September 26th. So no drinking for me. Just eat and run. So, so he just comes for the brats, you guys. And he comes to the St. Charles Oktoberfest for the Kenrick's brats. That's really what it's all about. Well, thank you so much for being here, and we look forward to seeing you again next year. And I think Steve has something for you. Well, on behalf of Kenrick's Meats and Catering, dude, you did awesome. The guard's disposal was outstanding, so just a great job. Great job. You did awesome, and congratulations on 11 brats, by the way, man. I'll be in touch with you. 11 brats. Wow. Steve, that's incredible. I don't think I've eaten 11 brats all summer, much well, less than three minutes. Oh, that's right. It was in three yeah, minutes, too. I've never too. seen anything oh. like that. Oh my gosh, it makes my stomach full just thinking about it. I thought four was a lot with the girl, but when I saw him pile them down, I was I was beside myself. So I, I, this was this was my virgin run at broad eating contest. So I've never seen one before. I had no idea what to expect, but to see this guy, I, I can't let him in. The, I can't let him in our store. He 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 eat it all too fast. So. It's outstanding. Uh, well, unless you had a contest at your at your store. Right. Now, the other meats and stuff that you have there, you have more than just brats at Kenrick's Meats, right? We do. We have. Our, we're really known for our specialty goods. So we do an Ozark Griller, which is bacon wrapped beef with cheddar cheese. It's a bite sized nugget. There's ten in a pack. We call it man candy or meat sushi, but it's outstanding. Mm -hmm. But we also do a bunch of specialty goods. We do roulade and spadini. We do. Uh, stuffed pork uh, pork tenderloin we will do anything you can come up with so it's really an outstanding place it's a lot of fun we do a lot of fun meats but we also sell the basics too you want to cut it's your way we'll do it that way and that's what we're known for 
That's awesome. Now, I've been in your store before, and you guys have an awesome display of meats, but you have more than just meat in your place, right? We do. We actually also home bake our own potato chips. We do homemade pies. We actually got a, a prepared food section that if you want to come in, you're running late after work, and you want something really good, come by Kenrick's, and we'll, we'll have food for you. Take it home. You heat it up in your microwave, and it's good to go. We also have freezer units. So if you're looking to serve a neighbor or an elderly person, come in and get a, a handful of those, hand them off to somebody. They're really easy to take and bake and heat up, and they're really uh, convenient. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how long has Kenrick's been in business? Well, Kenrick started out a long time ago. We, we took it into a market in 1945, and in 1974, the current owner, owner Joe Wyman, Joe the Butcher, Joe the Butcher uh, b bought the business from a gentleman named Pete Vitale, and Joe's really uh, spearheaded it ever since. He's still around, 69 years old. He's kicking. He's always giving me advice, guiding me on the right way, but he still has his hand in it and still really uh, an inspirational guy with Kendrick. So we're really happy that he's uh, stuck around. And, and John, his brother, was a part of it also. John's my dad, and uh, they, they really worked well together. And like I said, it's just a, a great team they built, and they really uh, want us to continue to go on with it. That's awesome, that's awesome. Now, um, what brings you guys out to the Oktoberfest? Besides sponsoring the, the meat portion of the Oktoberfest, what made you guys decide to join us and, and what makes you keep coming back every year? The Faust family, Dan Faust Sr. and, the, and Junior who did the, the contest, but Dan Faust Sr. is just such a great man. He had called one of my, uh, one of my guys up and, and we had sat down, we all sat down and talked and it really seems like a good fit to have a German bratwurst company at the Oktoberfest. So we're also serving food here. We serve the VIP tent. We're serving rouladen, German uh, potato salad. We're doing uh, kielbasa over there. And then we're also selling with the uh, with the beer tent over here too, so. Oh, awesome, awesome. I didn't know that you guys had um, the German potato salad. Oh my gosh, it's outstanding. It's got a little bit of bacon. Oh, it's. And that's Kenrick's bacon, of it, course. It is, it is. You know what, I, I, we were cooking it over there and I keep smelling it and I'm, I, I want to eat a whole plate full of it. And I'm really not a potato salad eater, but I mean, I'm. Oh, German so potato salad is delicious. So and it's from Kenrick's, so it's got to be good. It is good. It's got to be good. Okay, well, Steve, thank you so much for being here. And um, I think you should take me to where that potato salad is because now my mouth is watering and I really want to go get some. Uh, you know what, I'll take you up on that. If you ever want potato salad, you come find me and we'll make sure you get some. All right, thank well, you. let's go get it. Thanks, you guys, so much for being here and watching us streaming live from the St. Charles Oktoberfest here in historic downtown St. Charles. It's a 32nd annual St. Charles Oktoberfest. The weather is beautiful. Um, the people are happy. The energy here is just amazing. It is. It's just the, the, the hop route tent is full. I can't imagine how many more people are across. I think this year we're going to set a record. I think so, too. Uh, you know what? I was walking around earlier. You, I can't even get through to some of these places with all the people here. And like you said, this weather is outstanding. The music that's been playing in this tent is fabulous. And I know they said the beer's cold. I haven't got to try one yet. But that's on the agenda for the day. All right, let's go. I'll get you a beer. You get me some potato salad, and we'll call it even. How about that? I'll take you up on that. All right, that's well, let's awesome. go. Bye-bye for now. We'll be back in just a little bit. <laughs> Last year's broad eating contest came down to an epic battle between two masticating male titans. Brandon, the garbage disposal, and the 2016 champion, Kyle, the hammer. The garbage disposal downed eight brats to emerge victorious. In the women's category, Tracy from Iceland chopped the competition by downing five brats. This is another epic battle of gnashing, chopping, chewing, swallowing at the annual St. Charles Oktoberfest Broad Eating Contest. Saturday, September 29th, 4 p.m. Sponsored by Kenrick's Meats and Catering. Be a winner at the St. Charles Oktoberfest. September 28th through the 30th at Frontier Park by the Mighty Missouri River. Be there!